Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for checking out another YouTube video. And in this video today, I'm gonna have Battle of the Big Wheels review. Let's get into it. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be reviewing three big wheels. We're gonna have the previous wheels that I reviewed on this channel, which is the Orangutan Dad Bods. Next is gonna be the Boa Constrictors. And after that is gonna be the Apex 11 uh, flywheels. So Dad Bods are 105 millimeters, the Boa Constrictors are 100 millimeters, and the Apex 11 flywheels are 170 millimeters. So we're gonna start off with the first criteria. Now, if you guys watched the last review that I did on this channel, you would have seen that I have five criteria to determine if a wheel is a good wheel. We have roll speed, we have maintaining roll speed, we have acceleration, we have high rebound and durability. So every single wheel is gonna run through the test right now of my criteria and we're gonna rank them. We're gonna see which wheels I liked the best and which was I didn't like. So we're going to start off with the wheels that I reviewed most recently, which is the uh, Rangitsing Dad Bod wheels. So I'm not going to run through my five criteria for the Dad Bod wheels because I had already reviewed these in another video on my channel. So if you guys want to see that video, there will be a link in the description so you guys can go check that out. For the criteria here, just go ahead and watch that video. I'm not gonna put it back in this one again. To compare it to the ABEC 11107s and the Boa Constrictors, based on criteria, these wheels were at the bottom of my list. They don't have better uh, roll speed than what I feel is the best wheel. The ABEC 11107s doesn't have better roll speed than them. Maintaining roll speed, if it's on a really flat surface, it, it will outperform both those wheels. But if it's not on a flat, like pavement, smooth pavement, smooth surface, then it's the worst wheel. So you have to really consider where you're riding because that'll play a big part in how these wheels perform. Next up is the ABEC 11 107s. These wheels I love. I raced these wheels for about two race seasons. I actually love them. So I'm gonna run through my five criteria for good wheels on these, and then uh, we'll talk about it some more. So the first one is roll speed. These have excellent roll speed. It's great to try other wheels because you get to really understand and feel uh, which wheels are good and which wheels aren't. So riding dad bods, riding the boas, uh, riding my other big wheels, I understand that these are actually one of the top, top like push uh, LDP wheels out there. A lot of people don't don't use these wheels. They use smaller wheels like 90s, uh, but now more people are starting to get into using big wheels for races. And I'm assuming they're understanding why. So these ABEC 11107s, they are 74A. And the contact patch, I am not sure, but it'll be on the screen right about now. Uh, and you guys will be able to see all the specs. Uh, maintaining roll speed is amazing. So once you get it up to max speed, you don't really have to push more like and that's because this wheel is so soft because of that it absorbs a lot of imperfections in the road so you don't have to have to worry about your speed slowing down too much acceleration because it is a bigger wheel a little bit more heavy acceleration for a big wheel i find it to be good but it's not it's not the best acceleration in my opinion the bulk constrictors are uh, but these are still really good. Uh, next is rebound. So rebound on these wheels are great. Uh, I messed up and used to do slides with these wheels. So I think that I messed up a lot of the rebound and durability as you can see, but I've had these wheels for some years now. So the durability, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be wearing and tearing, you know. We got some chunking here. Nothing too crazy, but this is what I'm I'm talking about when I say with the dad bods, 
I need more time to test the rebound and durability because if it ever gets to a point like this, then I would be able to give you guys a actual detailed review on that category, which is durability. But I haven't had enough time. So I just need to test the wheels out some more. And it, it's good, honestly gonna take probably like six months to really find out durability. Rebound is great, I love it. It never feels like it's squishy or it's not holding its, its firmness. Like from when I first brought this wheel, it still feels the same exact. And that's what that's what I'm looking for. So this is this is why I hold all my wheels to the standard of this wheel because this is one of the best wheels that I have actually used for races. So I, I use this as the the holy grail essentially, and then from there I rank all my wheels. So the we have the Abec 11107s, and now the ball constrictors. I don't actually have those wheels with me right now because a friend was generous enough to let me use them. I'm just gonna do that review right now without the wheels. So first, let's get into the specs of the wheel. It's 100 millimeters and contact patch and duro will be on the screen because I don't have those specs right now on the top of my head. Let's jump into the roll speed. So the roll speed on the bulk constrictors was great. I compared them to about the same exact roll speed on the AVIC 11107s. They were good maintaining roll speed. They were about the same exact as the ABEC 11107s. So those two categories go hand in hand with the ABEC 11107s. So I'm really pleased because those two criteria I hold to be most important in a LDP wheel. So it's really nice that the bulk constrictors are at the same level with the ABEC 11107s. Uh, and now acceleration. They actually have better acceleration than the ABEC 11107s and the dad bod wheels. So if you're looking for a wheel that has the best acceleration, in my opinion, of all big wheels, you would want to get the ball constrictors. And I just want to put this in here. None of these companies are sponsoring this video. This is my complete unbiased review. And this is just my honest opinions on these wheels. So next, let's get into rebound. Now, I actually really like the rebound on these boa constrictors. Uh, it felt, it felt actually like really soft. And that's just because the, the type of urethane that they use makes it really soft. So when you're going over uh, cracks, bumps, rough pavement, it feels good. So you're not slowing down too much. And that's a big part. And I know you guys know from watching my previous review, it's living in New York. The streets are not the best because they're not always paved unless you're like in Manhattan. But if you're living in Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx, some of those streets, majority of those streets are not paved. So you want wheels that are not too too hard and that can, can take a bit of a beating because again, the pavement, you just, you just have to have wheels that can withstand that. The ball constrictors do that. And the ABEC 11107s do that. Dad bods, again, they don't really hold up to to that same level because they're just they're just hard, harder than the ME 107s and the 100s. Uh, and now durability, I, I feel like the durability will be really good on the ball constrictors. What I find though is that softer wheels have worse durability. So the 76A that's on the 107s and the duro that's on the bulk constrictors, that duro is going to uh, cause the durability to suffer a little bit because the wheels are softer. So if you have a harder wheel, uh, the durability is going to be better just because it's harder. So I, th those are not my wheels though, so I can't test them out fully, uh, but the person who owns the wheels, they're riding them every day. So what I'm gonna do is just ask that person their opinions on the bow constrictors after about a couple months, see how the durability is doing, see how the rebound is doing, and then come back to you guys and talk about it. So now we're gonna rank each wheel from best to worst, starting with the best wheel, which is in my opinion, the ABEC 11107s. And the bow constrictors coming at a close second. I only say that the 107s are better than the bow constrictors because they help me get to a better top speed. So, the bow constrictors, they match the 107s in 
roll speed, maintaining roll speed, and they have a better acceleration. But the 107s help me get to a better top speed. So they are first on the list, and then bulk restrictors are second, and the dad bods are third. Uh, dad bods, they will outperform both the 107s and bulk restrictors if you're on a smooth pavement. I mean, that's, that's if you're going on races that are in like a closed environment or it's if you're on like a super smooth pavement you're on a, a trail bike path and the pavement is smooth uh, then those wheels are going to outperform both of these wheels that i have listed above them if you don't have that then they are not so just keep that in mind so that is my review for these wheels uh, if you guys have tried any of these wheels let me know down in the comments below I'd be curious to hear about you guys' opinions as well. If you guys want to buy the dad bod wheels and find out if my opinion is right, you guys can go ahead and do that. I wish you guys didn't spend the money to do that though, uh, but you might like them. So go ahead and test that out. See if you do. They could be a good LDP wheel for you, uh, but what I would recommend is going for the 107s or the Boas. Uh, those are great wheels and they're, they're cheaper than the dad bots if you guys have used any of these wheels or if you guys have used all three comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the wheels i'd be curious to hear you guys opinions and and that'll be it for this video thank you guys for watching